Right, first of all, the NHS is not free. You pay for it. Or that's the principle. Most people pay for it unless you're not working. Um, secondly, this was in reference to um, somebody posting that it would be wrong for a private firm to run the NHS or be part of the NHS or something. My presumption meaning that um, what they were saying was um, a private business shouldn't be part of the NHS. So you won't be getting a bill, it'd still be the NHS run, it'd just be a hospital run privately. That was just my point. I don't see any point with that. Maybe that wasn't what the question was meaning, but that's my understanding. So to come out with it, it's going to cost you, if you get you need a bill, you won't be getting a bill because, you know, presumably it'd be more efficient, i.e. lower cost for the NHS, um, but you'd probably get a better service because they'd run it. Unlike now, I think most, or up till recently, hospitals would only operate Mondays to Fridays certain times. In fact, I don't even think they operate Fridays. They were very, they're very inefficient. Well, a private firm probably be operate, doing operations seven days a week, probably 24-7. Um, that's the difference, and they'd lower the costs and everything. And being efficient doesn't just mean, part, you know, it actually means a better service, quicker and everything. I mean, efficiency is usually best. Um, I mean, you know, compared to, I know they've just recently computerised everything. When I say recently, maybe the last 10, 15 years or so, even though that should have been done years and years ago. Um, but it was quite often mistakes were made, paperwork lost, etc., etc. in normal hospitals. They're not very efficient or weren't very efficient. They've improved, I think, in recent years. But they're very costly by the looks of it. And I suspect you could reduce this in private. And like I said, I think you'd get a better service. That was my argument.